How good is this second hill? Skiff Phoenix here. Uh, today I am down at Shell Harbour Park Run where I'll be pacing a time of 30 minutes at event number 445. This video will cover where it's located, a short chat with the race director, an overview of what to expect out on the course and some visuals on the run. Shell Harbour Park Run is an easy 30 minute drive south of the Wollongong CBD. This specific event starts on the grass next to the kiosk at the Killerlee Regional Park off Killerlee Drive in Shell Cove. There is a car park adjacent to the start, but if that is full, there is ample on grass or on street parking nearby within easy walking distance of the start. In terms of the terrain, this park run can best be described as more of a cross country course. It's one third grass and two thirds compacted trail. The first event here was in mid 2014 and like most park runs, this one starts at 8 a.m. One quick note, this park run doesn't allow dogs. So unfortunately, there is no bark run, park run for this event. It averages close to 200 participants most weeks, but in some weeks can have close to 300. All right, I'm here this morning with Beck, who's the run director for this morning. How are you, Beck? I'm good, how are you? Well, thank you. So what do you like most about park run? Uh, I like most about park run, all the different community and everyone coming out and just all coming together to one event. Basically, yeah. And how important are the different volunteer roles? I noticed with this course there were a, a lot of volunteer vests. Yeah, we had about 25 people here this morning. Uh, we never say no to someone who wants to volunteer. Um, volunteering makes parkrun go around, whether it's marshalling, you know, tail walking, pacing like yourself, just everyone coming together. And yeah, volunteers make this event. They definitely do. On how it happens, yeah. So, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about coming along and joining in with Shell Harbour Park Run? Uh, Shell Harbour Park Run is a slightly hillier course, so if you're out trying to get a certain pace, you would have found it this morning. You've got to go out a little bit harder at the start to compensate for the fact that we've got the hills coming back in. Um, but you get the beautiful views at Shell Harbour, the ocean for the dip afterwards on a hot summer's day, and beautiful cafes and just a beautiful course. And great. Shell Harbour's a great place to be. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Beck, for all the work that you and Ollie and the guys here do down at Shell Harbour Park Run. Now it's time for the course overview. Thanks for coming. As you can see from the map, this is an out and back five kilometre course in two directions. Starting near the kiosk, you head out on the grass and then around to the single trail that runs adjacent to the road. About one kilometre in, you will then hit the first of two downhill sections. The bottom part of this is on grass and may have some rutted out sections, so watch your footing. Approximately 1.6 kilometres in, you'll get to the bottom of the hill where you will now retrace your steps. The climb back out is at a gradient of around 7%. Once you get back to the kiosk at around 3.1 kilometres, you will then head out in the opposite direction. This is where you'll be greeted by the second hill, which is also grass, so again, be careful of your footing. Once you've navigated the second hill, it's then back up the trail to the finish area close to where you initially started. This second hill is shorter in length at around 300 metres, but the gradient is steeper at 10%, so leave some fuel in the tank for this little gem. And also, be careful at the start due to the lush grass and the large number of people trying to see themselves based on their expected pace. All right, let's do this. All right, let's watch this start area because there are a lot of people, as you can see and also got the thick grass. <laughs> All right, now we're heading off the grass onto the compacted trail. And we've got this all the way down until we hit the steep section down the hill. All right, now we start a bit of a Gentle downhill. So today I'll be doing 554 pace. Uh, of course the course measures a little bit over 5k, so I need to make sure I'm in on 30 minutes. Okay, now we're hitting the trail section so just watch your footing on this bit
right, just be careful with your footing because we now have people coming back the opposite direction and this is where there's some loose rocks. Right now we're off the rock section and we've hit the traditional cross country grass bit. All right, supposed to turn around, thanks for volunteering. And we turn around and back up the hill. Thanks for following, buddy. As you can see, the uh, first of the hills ends up with a few people walking. First of the big hills now, we have the compacted gravel trail back around to the start line before we head out in the opposite direction. All right, so we're nearly back at the start line, only a couple hundred meters out. And about to hit back onto the heavy grass again, so just watch your footing. Not a bad view on the bend here. Alright, I'm going to jump back off the grass onto the hard compacted trail. We head out on the opposite direction. Thanks, Beck. Alright, so we've got a few hundred more meters of this sort of terrain. And then we'll hit the downhill on the grass for the second hill. All right, coming onto the bend now where the downhill grass section is. Not a bad view either. Oh, if you want to go for a swim afterwards, that's the farm. Thanks for volunteering. All right. Turn around and now back up this lovely hill. This is the hill with the steeper gradient, so it is shorter, but it is steeper. Right, we're halfway back up the compacted trail section about 400 meters to go and then we'll veer off to the left to the finish line all right head into the home straight now you're on track for sub 30 well done 50. thank you well done. thank you emma Thanks again to Beck, Ollie and the team here at Shell Harbour Park Run. I hope this has given you a good glimpse into the event and what you can expect out on course. For more information on this one or one of the other hundreds of park runs globally, go to www.parkrun.com.au and click on the events tab at the top of the screen. I'm Skip Phoenix, stay safe and wherever you're running, make sure you enjoy yourself.